The Light Tools Backlight Pattern Optimization Tool, or BPO, helps you to design backlight patterns for target illumination distributions. In this video, we'll look at how to use BPO to find a texture pattern that results in a uniform illuminance over a curved backlight surface. The model we'll be working with is a freeform object with a cylindrical profile light guide and a rectangular source at the top edge. A 3D texture pattern of spherical holes has been applied to the back surface. BPO will help us adjust the size of these elements over the surface to achieve our goal illumination pattern. We'll need a receiver and a merit function, but we'll ask BPO to help us with that in a few steps. To start, go to Optimization, Backlight Pattern Optimization. BPO opens to the Zone Mesh Info tab, where we can specify the desired merit function to use and also choose a texture pattern to iterate. We can see that the merit function is currently blank, but automatically detects a texture zone. There's only a single surface with a texture zone in this model, so it picks the zone we want. If there were multiple texture zones, we could pick the one we wanted to optimize from the drop-down menu. To address the missing merit function, I'll go to the Curved Surface tab. Check Enable Curved BPO. The distance is the distance from the Texture Zone surface to the new receiver, which should be in front of the backlight. The thickness of our backlight is 0.3 millimeters, so I'll enter a distance of 0.35. I'll leave the Use Local Surface Normal option checked so the resulting receiver is projected along the surface normal. Now that I've adjusted these settings, I'll press the Make Receiver button. Back in Light Tools, we can see a new object has been added with a receiver already applied. Let's run a simulation to see what the starting performance is. While we can see the illuminance pattern on the surface in the 3D window, I'll also go to Analysis, Illuminance, Loom Viewer to open the illuminance chart and move it to a split screen view. We can see that there is a high illuminance region at the top next to the source. Now let's go back to the BPO window where there are a few more tabs that have been added. The Texture Controls tab lets you determine whether you want to adjust the number of textures or fix their positions and adjust the size instead. There are various other controls for the size and density of the texture pattern as well. We'll use the defaults for this example. One helpful control along the top of the window is the Apply Uniform Texture Density to Zone button that will apply a uniform texture pattern to the Light Tools model to show what the current settings are. The Pattern Data tab shows that there are 21 by 21 bins across the mesh that are all the same value. This equality means the target output illuminance is uniform across the entire receiver output. You could adjust these values to define a non-uniform pattern if you like. Note. If you wanted to define a more complex pattern, there is an option to set the merit function target type to a picture file on the Preferences tab. Using View, Add Mesh Outline with One Bin, or Add Mesh Outline with Grid Lines, you can overlay these bin dimensions on the surfaces and light tools. In this model, we can get good results with fewer bins, so I will set the number of receiver mesh bins to an X of 12, and a Y of 11. Then I'll press the Set Number of Mesh Bins to Light Tools button. I'll also set the number of texture bins and grid to be the same by pressing the Resample Density Grid to Match Receiver button. To see the changes, I'll go to View, Add Mesh Outline with Grid Lines again, and we can see the difference in bin sizes. With that, I'll move to the Run tab. 
The run controls let you see the number of maximum iterations, the signal to noise ratio to stop the optimization, and also the starting configuration. The default is to always apply a uniform pattern at the start before iterating, but you could alternatively apply a different pattern before iterating, or simply use continue iterations if you didn't want to reset the pattern after the previous optimization. There are three charts in the run menu. The last density pattern shows the applied texture density pattern. Currently, the texture density pattern is uniform, but will change as the optimization progresses. The last acquired merit function target displays the target pattern. In our case, uniform. Finally, the last acquired mesh data figure is the result from the last pattern evaluated. Currently, this figure is the illuminance the last time we ran the simulation. The goal during BPO is to iterate a texture density pattern so the last acquired mesh data converges to the mesh merit function target. Let's see what happens when we start an optimization with the current settings. After BPO finishes, we can see that while some of the power has been distributed along the backlight, there is still a high illuminance spot right near the source. Switching to light tools and inspecting the rays, we see that there is a direct path where rays from the source are instant on the receiver surface without ever intersecting the textured surface. Let's consider that our design will adjust the output display size to avoid these direct rays. To do this, I'll go to the Receiver's Properties, Forward Simulation, Illuminance Mesh, and change the max V to 0 0.95. When applied, we can see that the edge of the receiver surface updates, as does the Illuminance Mesh. I'll switch back to BPO to update the mesh outline, then I'll run the optimization again. The resulting illuminance is moving the right direction. I'll change the starting configuration to continue iterations and try a few more cycles to see how we do. After the completion of another three iterations, the illuminance is looking more uniform, and we can see the texture density pattern to achieve such an illuminance distribution. At this point, I have shown you how you can use the Light Tools Backlight Pattern Optimization tool to find a texture density pattern to achieve a uniform illuminance output. There are many other controls in BPO to adjust the texture pattern characteristics, target out output distributions, and more. Current Light Tools users can learn more by consulting the Light Tools Users Manual or emailing the technical support team at lighttools underscore support at synopsis.com.